Welcome to the InstaDAP Interop Beta Walkthrough video. We're going to walk you through how to use Interop. On, again, this is the first version, so this is limited to Aave on Polygon and Aave on Avalanche. So we have a Polygon account open, and as you see, it is empty. Uh, and I always think it's kind of good to go over uh, position migration. So what we're going to do is we're going to migrate a um, position that's on Aave. So let's actually do a couple things. First, we're going to be using the Rabi wallet. Uh, the Rabi wallet works really well when you're switching between two networks because you don't have to switch. It will just send a transaction on the right network. So it's a little bit uh, more efficient. Uh, but of course, this process will work with MetaMask. Um, so let's actually go to the DSA tools down here and we'll go to import. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to have to give allowance to the import. So it's, it's asking for allowance to your Ethereum deposits. So let's give the allowance. And I'm just going to put all the transactions as fast. You don't always have to do that. <clears throat> okay, so that is confirmed. So now we go to import. So same situation. We're going to just make it go fast. So once this transaction confirms, the position I had on Ave will be in this DSA account. So we're going to go ahead and just load the Aave page. And so here we go. I have a position here of around 243 USD in ETH with around 44 in debt. Uh, it's actually 45, if you look down here, 45 dive debt. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now we have this position and we want to migrate this to Aave on Avalanche. So what you do is you go over to Interop, which is over here. And you're presented with this page. Now this page will look kind of familiar. It looks a little similar to our refinancing page, which is essentially what you're doing. You're just doing it across chain. So the first time you come to this page, you'll be prompt to add the interop address to the, well, it depends how you do it. So you'll have to add it to both accounts if you're using two existing accounts. If you are using a new account, you will only have to add it once. So in this situation, I believe that account already had access. So we're gonna do a new account. Um, but let me also show you a 674. So here it's asking for two. So you would have to actually act, uh, activate twice. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And this is where Robbie works really well because um, these transactions are actually on different networks. So the first is the authority on Polygon. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And then we're going to add the next one behind it. What it's doing now, it's going to load you into the Avalanche dashboard and just authorize here. I'm going to click back to the interop page. So now both these are confirmed. So you see it's no longer asking you to add interop as an authority. And then after you migrate, you can remove interop as an authority to your account. So um, no worries, you can always just remove it after you uh, complete the migration. So this is from the first DSA Polygon account to this existing Avalanche account. So I did wanna just show you how you add the authorities. Um, but in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a new account. And there are quite some uh, limitations, at least in this first version. So Let's just go through them really quickly. The migration fee is 0.15%. It's on the total value, including the collateral and debt. So if you have, let's say, 80,000 uh, in US in ETH, let's say, uh, in value, and then you have 20,000 in DAI debt, 
So you have a 100,000 uh, in total value. So the whole total value there would be charged to 0.15%. Um, Interop has no slippage. It has no slippage. It is moving the tokens uh, out of one-to-one -to, -one to the destination change, uh, to the destination chain, minus uh, what you pay for the migration. Um, and then for the beta, the maximum collateral you can migrate per transaction is 1 million USD. So if you're getting very close to this amount, just reduce it a smaller amount and try again. Um, and same thing, if, your position, if you're, you're migrating positions at that larger cap, it might take an hour or two to complete. Um, please reach out if you do have any issues with this. Okay, so when you're ready to migrate, you just enter the amount you'd like to migrate. Um, do know that for the beta, you will have to leave quite a, a big buffer. Um, so you can't leave the positions risky when you migrate them. And kind of like the refinancing tool, you can do a partial migration um, if it allows, of course. So you could do something like that. So in this case, um, I'm just going to go ahead and migrate. We'll just go ahead and set it to max. Now I can see that these numbers are looking a little crazy, so I'm going to reduce these numbers a little bit because I know that sometimes these can throw up errors, and I, these are quite a lot of digits, so I'm just going to reduce them like that, and I'm going to go ahead and send the transaction. And likewise, I'm just going to speed it along and send it. So once the mempool sees it, you'll get this message over here that says that you have a transaction pending on interop. So if you click here, you're actually going to get your interop transaction hash. And you get taken to the interop explorer. And so you can see these are the transactions that I've done on this account. And of course, the most recent one is on top. So you just click the transaction hash and you'll see the pending transaction. <clears throat> so on the left side, you see the source chain. So you saw that it's coming from Polygon and then the target chain, which is Avalanche. And it actually tells you which DSA ID it's going from. In this case, we're creating a new one once we reach Avalanche. And you get the um, initial uh, submission transaction, which on this case was on the Polygon chain. So we're going to give this a couple of minutes to migrate. It should take about two to five minutes, um, about five minutes from Polygon to Avalanche, about two minutes the other way around. All right, so I am back. I saw that it was about to be five minutes. Um, and if you use Interop, you actually, if you're on the Interop page of your transaction, um, you actually will get real-time status updates. <gasps> so see, in this case, we got a fail. So I actually, have a, I actually know why that may have happened. So what we're going to do is we're going to send this one more time. Um, so we're going to go back to Interop. And I'm going to show you the failure because why not? Like it failed, that, that's possible. So um, first thing I'm going to do is let's go over here. Let's take a look at this transaction. And what I want to do is take a look at the amount of gas used, so about 88%. This makes me think that the gas here was quite, wait, what was set a little bit low. Okay, so we had an error, but we're going to try again. Um, so the only thing I'm going to change here is we're going to do a new account, as we did before. So I'm going to get rid of these decimals completely. So that way, um, in case this is causing an issue. Um, and so for Ethereum, we're just going to drop it down to this too. Um, yeah, so this looks good. So let's do this. And again, I'm going to um, bump up the gas as well again, one more time, same thing, just 100,000 extra, and then just like a faster transaction speed, and send that. Okay, so open the Interop Explorer. Um, 
Okay, so let us again give this about uh, five minutes and we'll be back. Back within the five minutes. Um, and as you saw, it was actually confirming in real time. So it's fully confirmed um, on the source chain. So now we're just gonna wait for it to reach the target chain. Okay, so it's been about like two minutes. Um, well, not even, it's been about a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> we got the confirmation on the Avalanche side. So we're gonna go back to the dashboard. And I'm actually gonna refresh because I know that these are some of the older accounts. So we're gonna go ahead and refresh. And we'll see we have a newer, the new account that the position was migrated to, which is right here. And there you go. That's your position now on, you started on Aave with your direct MetaMask wallet, and then you brought that over to a DeFi smart account on Polygon, and then you did a cross-chain migration to uh, the, Av the Aave Avalanche market. Um, and actually, if you look here at the accounts, you'll actually notice that you have two owners. So one is the account of this, uh, of the address, and the other one is the interop. So you can remove interop. We will update this so it actually says, maybe instead of owner, it'll say interop. Um, just be very careful that you don't remove your own authority um, while doing this. Um, and then if you go back to interop, now you're on the avalanche side. And then you can see the, the assets on this position. And of course, like you could, you know, go back, I guess. <laughs> go, you know, go back to where you started. Um, and likewise, you can also create a Polygon account starting with um, Av Avalanche and create an, uh, an account on Polygon. Um, and then, yeah, so for some reason, there, there seems to be a little bit of an issue with these decimals. So I, I would suggest um, during the beta, um, just at this time, if you were to use something like Max, just reduce the number of digits so it's not so uh, many. Um, yeah, I think that that seemed to work a lot better.